Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you do what I got for my birthday and maybe we will do some swatching, testing. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Karen. I'm a lefty who loves fountain pens, fountain pen inks, and journaling. So today I will be sharing with you what I got for my birthday, like post-Christmas purchases. <laughs> So let's start with this bag here from Scribe. They are a well-known Filipino you know, stationery shop. And they carry a ton of fountain pen uh, brands and inks as well. So let's open this up. And surprise, surprise. <laughs> My favorite fountain pen brand is here and let me share with you an ink that I got and I am on a teal turquoise baby blue aqua blue kick lately and I will also share with you these two things that I got post Christmas this one I got for my birthday and this is the Kaweco paradise blue it's in the 50 mil. And this is my first time to get a Kaweco ink. I wasn't planning on getting any ink because I got these two already. But this was so pretty to pass up. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's a glass bottle. Oh no. And... I really like fountain pen ink companies that put a shade or a description of the ink at the top or at the cap because most of us tend to store it, you know, upright and you only see the top part of the ink bottles. So it's very rare or at least for me, I don't store it in such a way that I can see the front. It's always a top view approach. So I really like that uh, I can see the color already or the name of the ink. And we will do a quick uh, swatching of this one using this pen from Koeko. So I got this from Scribe and Glorietta. Jill, their sales associate, is so friendly and she's very helpful. As long as you know what you want, she is there to help. So, this is it. This is my new Twisby. This is the 580 Diamond in clear with a silver trim. And let us open this up so I can show it properly oh my goodness this is such a pretty pretty pen and this is the product code right here it's a 580 diamond and it's the extra fine nib you got that right it's another extra fine nib and this is like the brother of my rose gold, white, and smoke. So this is my trifecta of 580 diamond fountain pens. And I really love my demonstrator pens. And I really love my extra fine nib pens. There you go. So, you know that I will be using the Paradise Blue for this pen. And let's ink her up right now. Because this is a fist because this is a piston filled pen, what you need to do is to twist the top part so you can bring it down. You bring it down the very bottom part. 
you open your ink bottle carefully gently with as much love and as much care okay you now you dip the entire nib maybe until the first part there near the grip section and twist away and you can see the ink filling up the barrel of the pen and this is why I love demonstrators. You can see how much ink you have there. And for me, I think this is more than enough. I really like the carrying capacity of Twist B pens. And I love it when they slosh around. Okay, so let's close this ink bottle tightly. Use two hands if you can. Most of the ink bottles are spill-proof, but I just make sure that I close it properly by tipping it on its side and making sure there are no spills. And I put it back in its bottle. There you go. And I have here my ink journal. let us go to a fresh page and this is actually a Hobonichi pet show this is 2022 I don't follow the dates anymore I just love using the Tomoe River paper so I have here a fresh page and let's put some writing samples so this is the B 580 Diamond Clear and the EF The ink is a Kaweco Paradise And what I do is I twist the top part, I push some ink there, I create an ink splatter, and I use the side of the nib to just spread it around. Oh, it's such a gorgeous shade of blue. And we will just let it dry. And that is the first pen and ink combination. Okay, let's move on to these two inks. And I both got Ferris Wheel Press. The first one is Bluegrass Velvet. And this is the 38 mil bottle. I really love Ferris Wheel Press's packaging. You can already see the color in the box. And you open it by pulling on this part here. Pull it out like this. This one has sheen, there are no shimmers because I use uh, fine or extra fine nibs. Shimmers and glitter tend to get stuck in the feed and because, yeah, I would prefer shimmers to be used in my medium or broad nibs. So yeah, I just make sure that these inks are more of a sheen type or yeah, don't have glitter in them. 
So, actually, for this one, bluegrass velvet, it's already inked up here in my Twisby smoke and rose gold. So let's just proceed with an ink swatch. Spread the ink. This is like a deeper shade of Paradise Blue. Also, lovely, lovely color to journal in. And the last one is this. It's called Mirror Mirror of Moraine. And this is like a soft mint, almost leaning to the green side. This also doesn't have any shimmer. That's why it's perfect for the 580 diamond in white and rose gold. So it's already inked up here, ready to go. And let's do a writing sample. So this is a twist You can see it's some more wet ink and I really love how the Tomoe River paper holds up and perfect it's just the expected ghosting but it's not really gonna transfer to the other side of the page
perfect. And these are my new inks for 2023. And my new pen for my birthday. And I'm on a Tealy Turquoise kick. And just a recap, we have here the Kaweco Paradise Blue. The next one is Bluegrass Velvet from Ferris Wheel Press. And the last one is Mirror Mirror of Moraine, also from Ferris Wheel Press. What do you think about these shades? I really find them really nice. I'll really enjoy journaling using these inks. I've already started journaling in my five-year Techo using the Mirror Mirror of Moraine and I love it. Even if I'm writing in an extra fine nib, the color is really really pretty. It's still saturated enough that you can see um, the writing clearly. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Support me on my birthday by subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!